Konnichiwa, and a happy Egg morning to you all. I'm Matthew. And I'm Ian. Happy Tuesday. We have some very excited, we have some very excited, we are very excited to have some special guests with us from another country. So, what do you think about them? They seem nice, I'd, and they're from Japan, so. That's, so. that's kind of far. Yeah. Right. So, our special guest, no, it's not Tim Reaper this time. That's right. Our set is hosting 30 Japanese students from Kagumahara, Japan, who are watching the show from behind the scenes. Welcome to the show. Stick around for me. Do you like bad puns on country names and weather? Stay tuned for my weather report. How about them Vikings? I'll talk about them in my upcoming sports report. We'll be back with that and more on the other side of the break. on Saturday. Students received the Sweet Six Award for both Color Guard and Band for highest middle school scores. This award was given out to the largest events such as Laura and Chino for the top overall group as a middle school. Also congratulations are in order for drum major Owen Tai on receiving third place in middle school drum major. Tomorrow is the annual Day of the Dead Festival after school from 2.15 to 5 p.m. in the auditorium. This is a celebration for those who have passed and a time to honor them. Family and friends are invited to take looks at the altars students have made. There will be food, music, art, games, and dancing. Also, tomorrow the band and color guard students will be going to Disneyland for their performance trip. Seventh graders will be going on their Catalina trips this Thursday. Fun time. Let's check out the Tetzloff calendar. Tomorrow is Tetzloff Spirit Day, Day of the Dead Festival, after school, after school and the band color guard trip to Disneyland. Thursday is the Catalina field trip for seventh graders. Friday is a minimum day and music at lunch. That wraps up the week. That's all for the Tetzloff play-by-play. We're not gonna be doing the action reaction. And we'll see you after the break. for today's hot topics. Queen of Cotway is a chess champion heading towards the top. The movie is about an African girl who lives in a place known as Cotway. This girl is 10 years old and is called Fiona. However, after meeting chess teacher Robert Katande, her success begins. She entered tournaments and she finally has a golden chance to escape poverty. This Disney movie was directed by Mina Nair. Fiona is played by Medina Nawaga and Robert Katande is also playing as Oye Loa. Nintendo released a new video trailer on Zelda Breath of the Wind, which will be coming out in 2017. Nintendo hasn't made a game like this before. People will get to play this game on the Nintendo Switch and the old Wii U. This game still has the same characteristics as the previous League of Legend of Zelda games such as Zelda, Link, Epona, and Ganon. The alternate forms of Gandalf, Breath of the Wind has all new campaigns and new enemies to face, new bosses to defeat. Time to check in with Jace on today's entertainment report. Good morning, Jace. Anyone watch Supergirl last night? Well, this episode featured a return of an awesome. See, I'm not sure if it's Martian or Martin. I'm gonna go with Martian, Mrs. Martian. This episode shows Supergirl fi fighting, finding an alien fight club run by comic book villain Roulette. She also deals with her personal life as she trains to become a reporter. Catch Supergirl every Monday on the CW. It's now time to check out with Jenna on today's weather. Good morning, Jenna. <laughs> Good morning, Jace, and now it's time for your weather report. Today in Tokyo, why isn't it warming up here? We'll be seeing a 58 degrees is a low. Moving, we will be seeing 45 degrees inland, done with the weather not getting hotter. And then moving on to Anchorage, we'll be seeing 30 degrees, but it's Anchorage because it's so cold there. And the great puns are they? And in Los Angeles, we'll be seeing 56 degrees because 
Los Angeles less cold. And then in Rio de Janeiro, it'll just be hot with 66 degrees. Moving on, we'll be seeing Tokyo with 55 degrees as a high, London with 51, Anchorage on the other side of the map in Alaska with 37 degrees, Los Angeles with 71, and Rio de Janeiro with a high of 92 degrees, which is the hottest on our map. Moving on, when life gives you lemons. So this is the costume winners of the annual, or the new Halloween contest. There is someone from Bob's Burgers, an anime, When Life Gives You Lemons, which is my favorite, and The Cactus. Don't forget to direct message us on Instagram, at Ungba Global. Send us your birthday pics and social pics. Now it's time to move on to sports with Jameson. Good morning, Jameson. The Vikings somehow lose to the trashy Bears 10-10. I mean, 20 to 10. In basketball, the Hawks win 106 to 95 against the Kings, and the Bulls win 118 to 88 against the Nets. Well, that's it for the sports. Time for the news. How's everybody doing today? Great. So, Alex, who's our guest today? This is Dijon. Hi. Okay. <laughs> so, let's get into the news. Let's do. Would you ever wear a real life cat bag? Well, this. Well, in New Zealand, Tom, a ginger cat, was found dead on the road, and Mrs. Third, a taxidermist, picked up the cat and made it into a bag. She, sta she stated that, quote, no animals were killed to make this bag. It was found dead on the street, so I thought it would make an awesome bag that would be the center of attention, end quote. Sadly, it's not as fashionable as it seems. Some may even call it disgusting or may, or not so creative piece of artwork. artwork. The cat sat on the freezer for three years and it took her 3,000 hours to make. She put, up the, she put it on her website and auctioned it off starting, at, starting the bid at $1,400. She got backlash, but some people did enjoy the look of the bag, wanted it in a different color. Wow, who let the cat out of the bag or inside and out? Surprisingly, her ginger cat was sold for $2,300. She decided to continue making her animal creations and posting her sculptures online for auction. <sighs> That is disgusting. It is. I, okay, I I'm agree. I'm crying on the inside because I love cats. Cat in a bag. That's a good pun. Okay. Cat in a bag. Don't. No. Don't. Please no. 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 Please, no. 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 Okay. okay. Please no. Yeah, but I think it's disgusting. Okay. Honestly. So, go to the wet pool. Okay. So. Oh. Or it's actually it's time for the big segment. We show the world. Yeah. Nope. Never mind. We're not doing that. We're just gonna go with yeah, we're just gonna do what's next. Yeah, okay. Well, again, this is Dijon with us. Good morning, Dijon. Hi. Right. So, what were you for Halloween? Joker. Are you, were you with Harley Quinn also? Nope. <coughs> Annette. <laughs> anyway, so will you please read this week's web poll for us? The tablet for the textbook. Here's where our viewers said. Depends because it, depends because tablets are more efficient way to of learning, but sometimes kids may fool around with the tablets by going on apps or social media. Another fan said, "No, because textbooks are cheaper than tablets to replace if broken or lost." To vote, visit us, visit us at online at ungba.com. You can also send us your vote and comment to us on Instagram at ungba global. Leave a comment with us at either place, and you and your message just might make it on the air. So, Dijon, what do you think? I think no, because it's our, it's easy with the books, and it may be hard for kids to use the tablets, just flipping through different pages in the tablets, oh. different screens. Oh. It's easy with books. Yeah. Well, that's it with this week's web Time for Matthew with the FYI. Thank you, Alex. Let's read the... FYI, so when was the first telephone created? 1794, 1854, 1876, or 1923? Take five. The first telephone was created in 1876 by Alexander Graham and Antonio M. Mielke, 1876. Hi guys, so we have some guests here today and they have a pineapple, we have an apple, and we have a pen. Can you guys, what we're gonna, can you guys? Guess what we're doing? Have you heard of the newest teen craze in Japan? It's called the PPAP. It's the Pen Pineapple Apple Pen. And it was created by Pico Tara, a character made up by a Japanese comedian, comedian Koshaka Dimio. 
The video went viral quickly. Check it out. I have a pen. I have an apple. Uh, apple pen. I have a pen. I have pineapple. Uh, pineapple pen. Apple pen. Pineapple pen. Uh, pen pineapple apple pen. Okay, well, that wraps it up for the show. Thank you all for joining us, and we'll see you back here tomorrow.